Hi, this is 43D, and we're going to talk about Leonardo. So he lived from 1452 to 1519. He spent time in Florence, Milan, and Rome, and he's considered the ideal Renaissance man. His genius can be seen in his skills as a painter, sculptor, architect, musician, engineer, and scientist. And this is his self-portrait. So he studied astronomy. And here are some of his drawings. He had diagrams depicting the distances between the sun, earth, and moon. He studied anatomy. These are his drawings of the muscles of the shoulder and neck. And he used them to paint St. Jerome in the wilderness, which was not finished. He studied anatomy, including how we all begin, babies in the womb. He studied anatomy of a Vitruvian man. He studied painting, the Mona Lisa. The first distinctly psychological painting of the Renaissance, the Mona Lisa is considered. I have seen this. I did not take a picture. She appears to look at you no matter where you are in the room. Some of you have seen this painting. She has no eyebrows, which was the fashion at the time. The real name is La Gioconda. It's a portrait of a middle-class Florentine woman, the wife of a merchant, and the merchant's name was Francesco del Gioconda. The painting is very small. X-rays show com three completely different versions of the same painting. Is this a self-portrait? Face is similar to the painter's. And this is my teacher friend visiting the painting. So you can see there from my teacher friend with the painting how really small it is. It's, it's kind of anticlimactic when you're going to see the Mona Lisa um, at the Louvre in Paris, and then there it is. He also painted the Virgin of the Rocks, which we looked at earlier using the triangle composition. So there it is again. Uh, he was particularly noted for his striking use of light and dark contrast, and you can see that in this painting. So this would be... Uh, Mary, the Madonna, it would be Jesus, our Lord, it would be his cousin, John the Baptist, and Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist. He also painted uh, this, uh, this wealthy woman, Ermine, and her pet. What kind of animal is that? Left up to the viewer, perhaps. There's his self-portrait again. We only have 15 of his paintings. St. Jerome is a great art treasure and it was only discovered in the 1800s. And this is a quote from Leonardo, iron rust from disuse, stagnant water loses its purity and in cold weather becomes frozen. Even so does inaction sap the vigor of the mind. So he wanted to always have a vigorous mind. It's a good reason to go into teaching. This is possibly a da Vinci. They're investigating it. The profile of the Bella Principessa. Depending if it's a Da Vinci. So this is Michelangelo. And he was a rival of Leonardo and an accomplished sculptor, uh, sculpting the David, painting the Sistine Chapel ceiling. And his most moving piece to me that I saw, um, the Pieta. So he lived and worked from 1475 to 1564. He spent his life in Florence and Rome he was another many-sided Renaissance genius, talented as a sculptor, a painter, a poet, and an architect. A quote about him.